I had a question initially when the young man was referred to paying his interest or taking on interest with a credit card, the interest being accumulated by the bank. And I guess my question was, would we also say that credit cards should be paid off each month and not accrue interest? That was my only question. Dr. Thank Jewel, you. that is an excellent question because what we're talking about is we're always going to be paying interest. So we want to choose what kind of interest we want to pay. Okay. So let me give you a quick example of interest rate versus interest cost. So I had a young couple, they're on our program and they're doing exactly what you're doing. They said they're paying off their credit cards every single month. And they were surprised when our computer program told them to ignore paying off their credit card. So I'm going to put on the screen here what we're talking about. We're going to put in their mortgage, which was around $225,000, okay? And their interest rate at the time was 3.5. So what we're going to be talking about is the difference between interest rate and interest cost, okay? So to set this up, they had $1,200 on their credit card. And the program was saying, don't pay it off this month. And they were saying, what? I never pay credit card interest. There's some people on this stage that never, ever pay credit card interest. And I applaud you for that. But what I'm trying to say is there is another interest that we need to be concerned about. And I'm teaching a new term here. It's called inattentional blindness. We're blind to what we don't pay attention to. All right. So everybody's trying to pay off their credit card so they don't pay credit card interest because they have these high interest rates. But that doesn't mean a high interest cost. So their interest on their card was 12 percent. And they said, I don't want to pay 12 percent on this. And I said, that's 12 percent annually. This is right. So now let's do a little bit of math and let's show you why the program is telling you to avoid paying that right now instead of paying it all off. 12% a year means 1% a month. So you're actually being charged 1% a month. So if you pay off the credit card now, you are avoiding paying how much interest? 1% of $1,200 is 12 bucks. So by paying that off, you said, oh, congratulations, you just saved yourself $12. You follow me, Dr. Jewel? I am. Great. So I'm going to be talking to you back and forth because this is going to be helpful to everybody on the stage. So now at $12 a month, that does not sound near as bad as 12% on $1,200, does it? When you know it's just 12 bucks, right? Absolutely. Okay. So now if we take that $1,200, take their $1,200 and put it on that credit card, they save 12 bucks. But let me show you their mortgage here and it's going to stop all right so if they were to take in this case they're paying 354 dollars and 10 cents on principal 656 dollars and 25 cents on interest and they're paying that every month uh, faithfully because that was a good payment for them all right but they had no idea what we call in my book we call it interest consumption that's another new term for you, interest consumption. How much interest are you consuming each month? The average family consumes 35 to 39% of their take-home pay in just interest alone. So I just pointed out to them that if they were to take that just $1,065.40, this is cumulative principle. If they put that down on this loan, they save this interest, okay? Almost $1,900 in interest. By taking $1,065 and putting it on the mortgage, they save that much in interest. So if you ask the question, would it make more sense to put that on the credit card and save $12 or put it on the mortgage and save $1,900? Oh, absolutely. It's a no brainer. So it's not just philosophical. It is mathematical. So this is why we do what we do. We do the math because when you hear interest rate, that sets off an alarm bell 
And then we have a fear response to that. And so nobody wants to pay a 12% credit card interest. But when they find out how much it actually is by doing the math, then, oh, if that's the case, I'll pay 12 bucks to save 1900 bucks any day. So these are the kinds of things that we're talking about. Our program keeps track of all of that. So you're putting the right amount of money in the right spot at the right time. And our whole focus is not how fast to pay down the debt. Our focus is on how cheaply we can pay down the debt. Does that make sense to you? Oh, it absolutely does. Thank you so much. I'm glad that I did ask because I really not only like this method in theory, if I could share when I bought my first home, mm -hmm. I bought it in cash. I, mm -hmm. It was like 10K. I'm from Cleveland. So <laughs> <everybody knows. laughs> well, Dr. Yeah. Jewel, listen, if you don't ask these kind of questions, if somebody's saying something and you think they're not giving people the truth, it's your responsibility. You know, I'm reading your bio here and you've got your PhD in education. And if somebody is miseducating the people and you stay quiet, are you being true to your doctorate? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. And I appreciate you, you know, that's why I left this app because there were just so many conversations. I was like, mm, let me just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, I appreciate that you definitely see that from this positive stance because I just wanted to be clear on exactly what you were saying. And I think it opened up a, a door for you to add even more clarity. And I think this is wonderful. I think that this is definitely the information that our people especially need because we are literally enslaved by debt at this point. But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He says, it's his book. Why not get that? I'm going to go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm going to link up with uh, uh, Don and then I'm going to sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio and see how I can eliminate interest.